Cat Williams was so transparent about everything going on in the industry. And today we're taking a closer look at Cat Williams' recent appearance on Shannon Sharp's Club Shay Shay podcast. Uh, Club Shay Shay probably was only getting like a million views per episode. Cat Williams' conversation on Club Shay Shay has literally taken that channel from getting like 6 million views to getting 37 million views in one week. But why did it resonate so strongly? Like, number one was respect and study of the craft. So, you know, Cat threw some shade at hella people, all comedians, um, just calling them out for taking shortcuts and the lack of dedication to the craft. And his devoting to studying the structure and the strategy behind jokes combined with creating fresh material for every tour showcases a commitment to excellence. So some actionable lessons for us marketers, you want to invest the time to understand your audience deeply. So don't take those shortcuts. Don't craft content that you just copy from someone else. So it, you want it to be more intimate. So it's, you know, like a longer lasting relationship. Number two was his effort to diversify the audience. So think about all the different people that might resonate with Cat Williams, right? He highlighted the ability to adapt his material for different audiences. He didn't just settle for one demographic. Like he put an effort to understand the white people in Seattle and the black community in Seattle. So um, diversity isn't just a checkbox. It's literally a journey. You want to tailor your content that will resonate with these different segments of people, you know, because this is what's going to make up your audience. And you want to acknowledge the differences and create a universal connection that goes beyond like superficial engagement. Cat Williams was so transparent about everything going on in the industry and everything he's been going through. In the interview, he wasn't just like scandalous. It was a rare glimpse behind the curtain of the industry. So <clears throat> we all know audiences crave that kind of transparency and that kind of truth and just wanted to understand the process behind, you know, the show. So the way you can apply this to your your career and your strategies is to just be transparent about your journey. You want to share all the different methods you learned. You want to talk about your work ethic, your personal obstacles that you faced. And just keep in mind that audience connect with authenticity because we live in an age where everything is fake, like asses are fake. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, number four, he served underrepresented communities and that's good business. So again, if you think back to the Club Shay Shay podcast, think about the, the types of people that he affected. Um, despite having a, a large black audience, the impact of his interview goes way far than just black people. Black people. Um, content for underrepresented people can actually be relevant and wildly profitable. I think they, pro they made over a million dollars from that interview for sure, easily. So you should not underestimate the power of underrepresented communities you know, lean into creating content for that community. Think about what will resonate with those different audiences, even if you're not, if you're not a black person yourself. I hope you are able to learn from the transparency and the dedication to the craft that Cat Williams has, and also the celebration of diversity that he represents. So it's not just about views. Like always, it's about creating a connection that lasts. And if you want to learn some more tips and tricks on how to market yourself, Click this video right here.